Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I just thought this was going to be a quick video. Um, I just thought this would be a good one um, because I'm shooting this while I'm still in Costa Rica and I'm going to release it on my travel day because I'm sure, you know, Wednesday when I'm flying and traveling I won't uh, get around to making a video. First of all, let me say this right out of the bat before I start doing this video and people like start, what are you doing? You know, everybody loves Dr. Bronner. So this is no Dr. Bronner's bashing video. Um, I'm super happy with the product. I use Dr. Bronner's pretty much, that's all I use. Um, I wash my hair with it. I use it for my body. Um, I need to start, I didn't realize this, but I need to start using it for my laundry because I've just been using regular detergent. Most of my products I've swip, switched over. I don't, you know, I use a... Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm an aluminum free, all natural. I think it's Tom's deodorant. I don't use the bullshit to brush teeth with. So Dr. Bronner's is my soap. So what is the warning of Dr. Bronner's? And by the way, I've got the uh, almond scent. Used it last night, as a matter of fact. Uh, it was my time to wash the hair before I get on the plane. I guess I gotta brush this stuff and wash it every once in a while. The brushing was hell. It, I had a couple of tangles in there that just wouldn't come. But anyway, the warning, and I'll get out of here. No need to just ramble. The warning was I was watching the reason this popped into my head about two weeks ago. Um, I was watching uh, Victoria Arnstein's videos. I enjoy her videos. I like her style. I like the way she talks. And she was talking about an incident she had with Dr. Bronner's that was almost exactly like what happened to a buddy of mine when he was um, in Atlanta, Georgia, a couple of years ago. He got Dr. Bronner's in his eyes. Now, before everybody gets all paranoid, I think it has to be a lot of it and it has to be concentrated. Now, I was scared to death after hearing my friend's story. When I first started using this, man, I closed my eyes so uh, tight. It almost gave me a headache sometime. I don't think, I don't think I've gotten any in my eyes, but I don't think that's going to just like drive you crazy if a little diluted with water gets in your eye. What happened to, her, to my friend and what happened to Victoria Arnstein was somehow they dropped the bottle and they were, I don't know how you get in that position, but they were kind of over the bottle, they dropped the bottle and some went directly into their eye. And I get so bad, Victoria said that was the worst pain she could think of that she had felt. My friend, they told him initially that he was going to have to have a cornea transplant. He got it, you know, he flushed it, but he still, he hurt for days. It's a serious pain. That's why I was so, like, um, like uh, nervous using it in the beginning. So, just so you know, be very careful. Um, you know, don't try to, be, just be careful. I don't know how you can prevent that because obviously nobody drops a bottle on purpose. But just know this. And, you know, baby, be careful when you are washing your hair because maybe I've just been lucky and haven't gotten any in there. Dr. Bronner's can burn the daylights out of your eyes, so be careful with that. Um, otherwise, it's a great product. I mean, you know, I'm like, I love Dr. Bronner's. I've never taken the time. One day I'm going to sit down on a really slow day, put my reading glasses on, and read all this tiny print on here. would be interesting to know exactly how many words they fitted onto this bottle. But anyhow... That's your public service announcement for the day. I'll be back to doing, hopefully doing regular videos tomorrow. Get, get into the States, get set up, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.